What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of the SXS A05 add-on set for the KFC EAVI Metal Citizen. This set consists of a uh, couple of different heads. Uh, if we look back here, it doesn't actually come with all these heads. It's It's got one uh, actual blue head, one red head, and then different variations of the faces and visors. So we're going to take a look inside here. All right. And you'll see it's got the blue helmet and you got the red one also. And the reason the red ones are in here is because this is for the Die Commander uh, version. But you can also use it with the regular uh, version if you want to have a red head on it. So let's go ahead and pop this open, take a closer look. And you'll see right here, uh, the sculpt right away, if you guys are familiar with the sculpting on the regular KFC figure. Uh, this is a little more on the roundish fuller side compared to the figure which we'll check out in just a moment um, some people uh, tend to complain a lot about the regular factory head uh, so it's always good to have uh, you know somebody out there looking out for those people that want something different all right so you'll see it's got this this is a standard face here with the blue visor if we flip this up you can actually push the visor back and just have the light piped eyes and the sculpting is actually rather nice I love the silver finish on the paint the blue plastics are nice too uh, and you'll see the little three screws here which you do have to remove to uh, change over from the uh, blue head to the red head so let's go check out the figure I right, guess so here's citizen stack and we're looking at his regular face and you'll see it's not actually that bad uh, the problem I think is this from the side it looks really flat and, you know, there's no definition really in the face from the side. It does look a tad weird. I mean, from the front, it's not too bad. But when you go ahead and compare it to the new face, you'll see there is a big difference. So I'm totally digging the new face. So we're going to go ahead and attach that. Now, to put that on, you got to do is twist the head here. And you'll see the two screws right in the back. You just got to remove those. I'm using this little tiny screwdriver here, which came with my fan-style hands. But you can use any small screwdriver. Just be careful not to strip the screws. Once you got them both out, you'll notice the head is a lot looser. Just tug on the front here, and it should separate just like that. All right, set that off to the side and grab the other head here. All right, and the head simply just pops right on. All right, so it holds on pretty well. You can actually lift up the figure by it, uh, so that's cool. And here is what he looks like, and I do think that it's a much needed improvement over this one not that this one's that bad I mean you know for 20 bucks it's it's definitely worth getting the new head it does look a little better and let's check out the way it looks with the visor bring this down just like that so you get the nice visor look now if you wanted to use the other faces that are included you do get this like kind of angry kind of face with the mouth open so we'll check that out all you gotta do is pop off the standard face which is a little tricky to do uh, with the head on the figure so we'll go ahead pop that off but it simply just pulls out like that and then the other one just friction fits right in like so you can uh, also do the same thing unvisored or visored we're gonna check out visor first All right, so that's what he looks like and I, I do actually like the look I was planning on leaving it with the regular face but this looks pretty cool We'll show you what it looks like with the visor. There you are. Then we'll also try it with the Optimus Prime-ish looking uh, face mask there. And same thing, you can do it with the visor or without. Just pop it right up, leave it like that. So let's check that out. It does have a very Optimus Prime kind of feel to that head after this. And of course I wasn't gonna end this video without showing you guys what it looks like on Die Commander stack right here. Uh, again another beautiful figure but the head leaves a little to be desired I mean it's fine the way it is again uh, I do understand the um, criticism about the flat kind of head looking thing there but uh, again SXS to the rescue so we're gonna use the head using the uh, red what do you call it uh, helmet pieces here and we are going to make our own new head for die commander stack so give me a moment to get all the other pieces from the other head into this one so we can use it and I guess I can show you guys what needs to be done the three screws have to be taken out here you'll see I've only got two so make sure you work in an area where you're not gonna lose the screw 
I'll look for that later. But once you get the, the screws out, you take this piece off, all these little bits will fall out. These pieces have to be replaced and put into or put into the red helmet. And the reason for that is because the set only allows you to make one head at a time. So it's not actually two heads. All right. So if you want to have a head on your uh, die commander and also your citizen stack, you're going to have to buy two sets. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and swap everything and then we'll check out what the finish product looks like. All right, guys. And here is the finished result. I decided to use the uh, face mask because the standard figure has the face mask. So let's go ahead and take this head off and see what it looks like with this one. And here he is with the new head. It looks beautiful. Here we are. Let's do a comparison with the standard one. Uh, the standard one wasn't even that bad to begin with, but again, it does suffer a little bit from that weird side view. Uh, this one does look a lot better from the side, and I think it just looks better overall. Definitely an improvement. Here's a little shot of him with the visor down, just in case you were wondering what that looks like. And again, guys, you can uh, also use the two other heads, but I do want to leave this one with the face mask. And uh, yeah, I think great for a $20 upgrade, $20, $25, bucks, whatever it is. Unfortunately, you do have to buy two sets if you have Citizen Stack and Die Commander. But I think in the end, it's, it's still worth it. It's a beautiful uh, upgrade for this figure. Guys, again, if you're enjoying the video, please subscribe. If you want to get a set of these, you can click the link below. And you can also leave the questions and comments down below, guys. And until uh, next time, guys, bye-bye.